Hi there, it's Rob from On Stage Lighting. Welcome to a short video in our series on doing stage lighting plans in 2D. In this uh, video, we're going to look at taking the data from our AutoCAD blocks uh, and the attributes of those uh, and extracting them back out uh, so that we can use them to build our paperwork. The first thing we should know really is that the process for doing this in AutoCAD for Mac and AutoCAD for Windows is slightly different. It's a little bit easier in AutoCAD for Windows uh, because there is uh, an extraction wizard uh, for the Windows platform which helps walk you through uh, the way in which uh, you, you, you end up extracting the data. Uh, I'm using a Mac today and also it's slightly less obvious so um, if you're using a Windows machine uh, you can follow some of the guides online into how to extract data using the wizard uh, but the demo today we're going to do is using AutoCAD for Mac. Now what I've got here is a not terribly exciting um, and not very uh, well drawn uh, small rig. I've basically got different uh, lighting positions, I've got some uh, lantern types and they have things like channel numbers and some purposes and colours and stuff like that. Uh, it's not particularly uh, well done, it's just we're, we're doing it today for demonstration purposes. So what we need to do basically is we need to extract, what we're trying to do is extract things like the channel number and the purpose and the lantern type and all that sort of thing. All those things that we created, if you remember, the block itself has all these uh, attributes already um, a set. Uh, we need to extract them. In order to do that on AutoCAD for Mac, we need an extraction file. And the extraction file is kind of created, is a, a custom created for this uh, particular purpose. Um, and uh, we're going to be using one that I've created. Now the extraction file is a .txt file, a straight plain text file, not a rich text file. And it follows a certain format of which you can look up online. Um, what we need to do is we need to plug that text file into AutoCAD in order to extract the data. So let's have a look at the text file itself. Um, this is one I've created just for this demo. So the what this basically what we have here is that this is the data that AutoCAD is going to spit out for us. Um, and down here on the left hand side is the name of the attribute. Uh, and the first thing here, this one here, is block name. So that's going to extract the block name. And then the other ones you recognise: color, purpose, channel, uh, all that sort of thing. The uh, the characters along uh, from the actual attribute itself denote various things, um, basically uh, the uh, type of data that's coming out. In the case of the data that starts with a C, it is character data. If it starts with an N, it's no numeric data. So you can see the block name is a character data. Um, the series of numbers afterwards, basically the first three numbers relate to how many characters or numbers, in the case of the numbers, are going to be extracted. Um, and then the next three numbers, basically, you can uh, they're to do with the, um, the the way that it's presented places. So you can just set those to zero 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 zero. So in this case, for the color, we have character of four characters. Um, we might need to change that if we had um, uh, uh, something that wasn't a L or an R number followed by three numbers. But most of our gel colors are three numbers plus the uh, plus the uh, prefix. Uh, the purpose and the block name are down as being 30 characters. The channel number is down as being uh, three characters and it's numeric so that would be up to you know 999 channels. Uh, the wattage is up to uh, four characters because it's 2000 watts. Um, so basically that's this, this particular file. As I say it's, just, it's a text file, um, a plain text file um, and it has it's sort of what we use to plug it into uh, AutoCAD in order to then extract the data. In order to extract the data, it's quite a simple process, but sometimes it can be a bit confusing to actually do it. The thing we need to do is we need to extract the data. Now, what the command we use to do that is basically um, we'll hit the uh, hyphen or the minus sign to start with, and then we're going to look for att for attribute, and then we're going to extract it. So when it want to ext, that gives us this command here. Now, when we hit enter. It says what kind of data do we want to extract? And in our case, we want it in CDF format, which is a comma delimited format. So we're going to pick that first one. It now says at the top, uh, select template file. So what we're doing now is we're, we're selecting the file that we've just looked at, which has those strange little bits of text in them, that is the, the template that is going to extract that data. So uh, it's got it here. And then I'm going to hit open. 
and then it says create extract file. So this here is this file now that it is now where you are going to put it and what it's going to be called. So that's where the data is going to be. In this case, I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to call it my lighting data and it's going to come out as a text file. So I'm going to hit save and then we're done. Nothing seems to have happened, but we are actually done. What I'm going to look for in my finder now, if I look on my desktop, I should find my data itself. Now, if I pop this open, I will open this up so it's nice and big, and I will zoom so it's also, you can see it. So what you can see here is basically, the data has come out in comma delimited format, uh, so we can see ETC Sourceful Junior, Lee 117, front cover. There's a comma in between, in between all of the data. There is also, where there is a character uh, string, there's also um, these little single quotes around them as well. Obviously, this isn't any good for what we actually, um, we can't actually use any of this data because um, it's sort of in a slightly weird format and we, we actually want it to, uh, to be look like, we want to go, go into a spreadsheet. If you know your spreadsheets, you'll know that you can in, in, insert this kind of data into a spreadsheet. But at the moment, it's just opened up in text edit, so we, we need to actually open it up in something else. What I'm going to do is fire up my Excel, and then I'm going to open this file in Excel. So I'm going to go for open. I'm going to find the data itself. So my lighting data, open. Now this is where we get the, uh, the, the wizard come up which uh, asks us what we want to do with this particular CDF file. Uh, you can see down here a preview of what it looks like. So this preview, can, we can see it just looks a bit of a mess like it did before. It's been broken into rows but it hasn't really been, nothing else has happened to it. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is going to go onto the next window. So it's a delimited format, next, right. It's comma delimited and it's down as tab so we're going to hit Comma as our delimiter, which starts to break the data into pieces. You can see Lee 117 front cover. And then what we want to do is we want to set the text qualifier to this single quote. What if you see that's done as it's stripped out, it's stripped out those single quotes. Now we can go next and do whatever. We're actually just going to go finish now. So we hit finish. Now you can see here um, the data itself now has become something much more usable for us in terms of something that we can uh, use to make a, a, a fixture schedule, a, la a channel schedule, and all those sorts of things. Um, you can see, if you remember the data we were using, you've got the block name, you've got the color, you've got the purpose here, uh, you've also got the channel number, in this case uh, you've got the wattage and the type and the position. So uh, you can see I had positions for all of these uh, units uh, this this rama at the end doesn't actually have a position set to it. But if you just look at this, you can see now um, you can see how this data can actually be start to be used in order to generate your paperwork. The key thing to understand is that this can only happen after you finish the drawing. So unlike in other sub, other lighting drawing packages like Vectorworks, where there's kind of a backwards and forwards between the two uh, the data and the drawing, this is something that you do after you've finished. Uh, your drawing and setting all of your various bits of uh, channels and colours and stuff like that. Hopefully this has been useful and I'll see you soon.